So for the new series that I'm starting today, I actually don't think that my hair really matches or does my outfit, uh, especially considering who I'm deciding to start the whole series out with. And that's making me feel weird because I'm like, why would you do that's not, it's, ah. But this particular series, I am oh so very in love with. And so you probably wouldn't have noticed that it doesn't really match the person that we're making because I'm, I'm sure you're not like, as into this as uh, I am, because I'm kind of crazy. But I'm really excited for this series. I am going to tell you more about this series in just a moment, but I have to send you the intro and you know, whatever, and do my thing, because it's my thing. And I have to tell you, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day 26 of 365 days of soap, and we are starting my soap series. Now, all of these bars I designed, I picked out the scents. We are still using Sierra Candles for this, for this series, and so, you know, so far so good with Sierra Candles. They've actually been really great, and so far I'm very, very impressed. And uh, the theme that we are starting out with is the magicians. Now. The pontoon, again, also really comes in play with this theme as well, because there are six, six magicians references in the pontoon. And you know, that's crazy. The Mr. Soap and Clay and I are obsessed with the magicians. We love it so much. We have binge watched all of the seasons multiple times over. We, we love everything about this series for sure. It did start out as a book. This is one of those rare occasions wherein I will say that the book was not better. Sci-Fi Network did The Magicians so much better than the original author did. And you know, no hey, I just, I like the series better for sure. And we are going to be starting out with the, the logical place to start a magician soap out with, a magician series out with, with you know, kind of arguably who started it all. Jane. Jane Chatwin. So we're gonna go, hold on, I, I need to get something. We are going to go join Jane in Fillory. Yes, so uh, let's go to the poor. And my fangirling and my geekdom is just really coming out really, really big right now, so I hope I can actually calm that down. But. We have a fillery map in the bar because that's how geeky we are. Let's go check out this pour. You're going to love it. I love it. It's amazing. And I'm patting myself on the back already and I'm going to do so again, you know, at the end. But, you know, for now, let's go check out the video. Oh, this is so weird. Okay. How much time do I have to explain everything? Okay, first up, Eucalyptus and Tea Leaves by Sierra Candles. Um, this is a new test. I have never played with the Sierra Candles scents before. Maybe once or twice before, like one or two scents, but not like, I'm not familiar with them. So we are, it, it's, it, these are blind tests. I've never used this ever. And the scent that's going into the Jane bar is Eucalyptus and Tea Leaves. Because of course it is, because it's Jane. And in The Magicians, Jane drinks tea a lot. I'm gonna have a hard time not doing spoilers throughout all of this. And I really don't want to do spoilers because 
The Magicians is a fairly new TV series, and so maybe it's on your list of, I want to watch it, but haven't got around to it yet. So I'm gonna try real hard, I don't know. So the soap oils that I'm using, this is my swirls mix right now, and I'm effectively, I'm essentially doing a tall and skinny shimmy type pour with this. So I need the batter to be very, very fluid throughout all of it. And since I've never used this scent before, I'm not 100% sure what it will do. If it will accelerate, if it will, you know, whatever. I don't know. And so I will be scenting everything out um, as I need these beakers because I have to do 40 passes. I have to do 40 passes because I have to do 40 passes because that's part of the magicians. And I'm sorry in advance for the weird editing that I did with all of this because 40 of these little like ding things are probably going to drive you nuts. But you know, let's see. Okay, on to the pour. And as I said, it's effectively a tall and skinny shimmy. So I will be alternating the angle of the mold multiple times and essentially using all four of these colors on top of each other until I decide to, you know, flip the mold and the angle of the mold for 40 passes. It has to be 40 passes. Jane Chatwin started the... The Magicians is a really cool series. It was an okay book. It was a better series for sure. And Jane Chatwin started it all. And essentially, Jane, this is the part that's going to annoy you. I'm sorry, it, it happens 40 times. It's gonna keep happening. Um, yeah, I just stick with me, guys. I It took me so long to edit this video because I wanted to count all of these passes because there is a very real and important reason why there are 40 passes for this pour because it's Jane and she controls important things where 40 is the answer, not 42. For everybody who, under, who, who got that 42 reference, you know, drop it in the comments. That would be cool. But yeah, so The Magicians, very cool series that is essentially, it has been described as like, you know, Harry Potter, but with adults. And I disagree in totality um, because like the only thing that The Magicians, I love Harry Potter, love Harry Potter. But the only thing that The Magicians has in common with Harry Potter is that there's magic. But you know, the whole thing is, there are adults that are essentially attending graduate school, right? And their graduate school is magic. And they were randomly selected and magically transported to a college to teach them magic when they had none idea that they had magical acumen. And that sounds cool. And then things get really crazy and dark and weird from that point forward. And it's impossible, it's so hard to keep up with everything. Like, it's not one of those shows that you can actually just like put on in the background and then like check your, you know, messages or like dick around on the internet. You actually do have to pay attention for every episode because it moves fast, a lot of ground is covered. And if you're not watching the screen and really paying attention, you're going to miss something. So there's that, but magic. And it starts off in such a fascinating premise. Like um, the first episode, I was literally Googling, are fillery books real? Because it's all centered on this, you know, there, there's the real world plus magic, but like the real world. Um, and there's also this magical world that exists in a children's book and that children's book is called Fillory with a, or that magical world is called Fillory with a group of children that find a portal to go into Fillory in a kindly, you know, rich man's 
manner, right? And kindly and ki kindly is very much air quoted for me right now because I, I've, I, I've watched the whole series. Um, but what does that sound like? Well, that sounds like the Chronicles of Narnia. That sounds like C.S. Lewis. And so within the first episode, I am Googling as I'm watching this, are the Fillory books real? No, they're not. And so I'm like, okay, so what is this? Is this some sort of, not necessarily an homage, is this a, I don't know, is this making fun of um, the Chronicles of Narnia? It's not funny. The, the show is not funny. There are some definite funny parts, like there are characters that are hilarious, but it's a pretty serious series. Like a lot of really interesting things happen, a lot of dark shit, like a lot of dark shit. And it's all a lot, really. And uh, anyway, the point is Jane Chatwin is one of the children, like Lucy. She's the Lucy. The Chronicles of Narnia, Jane Chatwin is the Lucy to Fillory as, you know, Lucy is to Narnia. And, but then she takes on this wildly bigger role in the entire thing wherein she can, the show is amazing, you guys. I, I'm gonna, whatever. But the point is, with all of these little, like little pops and the, the counting down, it had to be 40 passes. There were exactly 40 passes in this because it had to be so. 40 is important. I, I am not going to get through this without spoilers. I mean, I think every video is going to have to have a spoiler alert on it. So I got this when I was doing the Alice Bar back for the Amy Ward and Soap Challenge Challenge thing. And there were little, little clocks, little watches. And that is perfect to put on top of the Jane Bar because she controls time. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Is that really all I'm gonna say about that? I don't really actually think that's all I'm gonna say about that. Like that's, I feel like she's, <sighs> okay, so maybe like people who have watched The Magicians, you, you can weigh in in the comments below what your thoughts are on how many things I talk about and potentially give away within this series. Because I ended up making a lot of bars for this series because the magicians are amazing. And I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what to do here, but it is 100% fitting that there is a watch on top of Jane's bar for the same reasons that it's 100% fitting that there were 40 passes in this tall and skinny shimmy-esque pour and that this bar is tea scented. All of these things are incredibly important, really, throughout the entire... So people who have watched The Magicians, you know, let me know. How much can I give away? And for people who haven't watched The Magicians, do you really care? And can I just spoil it all? <laughs> okay, and on to the cut of Jane. And this was sea popped and gelled and in the oven overnight. And the cute little watches are there, have a little bit of a glycerin dew because they were made out of melt and pour. But you know, you just wipe that off, it's fine. It's all good. And yeah, so for those of you who don't actually care about the magicians and you just wanna see this crazy ass cut because it is a crazy ass cut, it's so beautiful. Like it's, I'm just, huh. This is a tall and skinny shimmy. And so when you are making a tall and skinny shimmy, you really want a very fluid batter that has very long trace time, really. So you can create that. Look what I did. Look what I made for you. Isn't that so beautiful? Like, 
The Sierra candle scent with this, especially since it's a complete blind test, I had no idea what it was going to do. I have not worked with it before. And this entire pour was at least 45 minutes long. At least. I, I cut it down and sped things up a lot to fit into this video. The fragrance did nothing weird with my soap batter. It was delightful. Yes, absolutely. This was, it is the perfect scent to put into a very complicated or long pour. Not that a tall and skinny, skinny shimmy is complicated, but the complexity comes in with the length of the pour, like the time that you are spending doing it. And again, 40 passes. And that is perfect for Jane. The red there, the green there, the all of the colors were properly selected, intentionally selected for who Jane is. She is she has a shocker red hair. She's English. She wears green a whole lot. And yeah, come on. It's, yeah, this is, I'm so happy. This is such a gorgeous bar of soap just across the board. And it completely, it fits Jane, as well as the tall and skinny shimmy like technique actually fitting what Jane is. The scent, the colors, the actual pour, all of it. It's 100% perfect. But you know, remember the number 40 because that's important. But today is day 26. Oh, all right, and there it is at uh, the Jane Bar. And I love it. It's so beautiful. And I really like putting the uh, all of the different pours, like the number of passes was very, very precise. It was very, very... Uh, important and it was definitely by design um yes because yes i'm gonna try to not do any spoilers but honestly i don't really think that there's any way that i can't do spoilers with all of this so i'm sorry but you know i'll try throughout this entire series i'm still messing with the map um but yeah, this is a this is a really cool bar and i love having put the clock on top the the watch because she was the because watches were important for her, really. And that's all I'm gonna say about that, I guess. Oh God, it's gonna be impossible to not do spoilers with all of this. So if you haven't watched The Magicians, I suggest you go watch it before watching all of these because I'm likely going to spoil a lot of things. But there's Jane and I love it. Uh, that, that scent blend was great. It performed so beautifully. It had such a long trace to that batter. It was beautiful, which is good for a pour like this. So that was important. And uh, yeah, I loved all of it for sure. And I'm very excited to show you guys, you know, the rest of all of these, uh, these soaps that I made for the Magician's line. So if you are interested in seeing what else I do, and if I, you know, make a soap out of your favorite character, subscribe to the channel. That would be amazing. For those of you who are subscribed to the channel, hey, thanks for being amazing. Thank you for joining me for another round of 365 days of soap. I'm out of here for today. I will see you guys all again tomorrow for another round of very, very geeky, soapy fun. Bye.